This video will illustrate how to use the graphing calculator for quadratic equations. For the basics of how to use the graphing calculator and how to use features like zoom and scale, see the first video in this series, which teaches the basics and linear equations. The first thing we're going to do is enter the equation on the top into the graphing calculator and look at its graph. As you can see, I've already prepared a table of values that shows the five key points. The zeros, the vertex, the y-intercept, and the point symmetric to the y-intercept, also known as the mirror point. I'm going to enter the equation, pressing the y equals button, then the x button. Now I press the x squared button to square the x, plus the x button again, minus 6. My equation is entered, and to look at it, I will press the graph button. We can see our parabola on the graph, and if we want to see the key points, we can look for them in the table of values, which we do by pressing second graph. All of the key points for this equation are in the table of values, because in this case, the x-coordinates of those points are always multiples of one-half. So if I scroll up and down in the table of values, I should be able to see all of these key points. I can see 0, negative 6, that's the y-intercept. And I can see negative 1, negative 6, which is the mirror point. I can see negative 0.5, negative 6.25, that's the vertex. So now, to see the zeros, I'm going to start by scrolling up. And soon I get to negative 3, 0. If I scroll down, I get to 2, 0. We have found all of our key points. But what if the x-coordinates of the key points are not multiples of 0.5 or commonly found numbers? Let's look at this second equation. We have y equals negative x squared plus 1.2x plus 3. The only one of these points that I'm liable to find in my table of values in the calculator is the y-intercept, 0, 3. But I have ways of finding the other key points. If I go into y equals and hit clear, it removes the first equation. Now it's time to enter the second equation. I'm hitting the minus sign key, x, the x squared key, plus 1.2x again, plus 3 and I hit graph. There is my parabola. To look at the table of values, I hit second graph, and I can see my y-intercept 0, 3 is there, but the other key points are not showing. Now I want to find my vertex. To do that, I'm going to use the calc interface, which you can see in yellow above the trace button. So if I hit second calc, I can find my vertex, I have to know whether it's a minimum or a maximum. Because this parabola opens downwards, it's going to be a maximum. So using the down button, I go down to four maximum and I hit enter. Then I move the little spider on the graph to the left of the vertex and hit enter. Move it again to the right of the vertex, hit enter, and then hit enter again. It finds my maximum is at 0.6 3.36, the same that I have in the table. So I have found my vertex. Now I want to find my roots. I hit second trace again, and this time I choose number two, zero, and hit enter. I'm going to start by finding my left root, so I move the cursor to the left of the first root on the graph and hit enter, then move it to the right of that root, hit enter, and hit enter again. And it tells me that I have a zero at negative 1.233. To find the right root, I do second trace again, choose zero again, enter, move the cursor just to the left of the second root, hit enter, move it again to the right of the second root, hit enter, and hit enter again. And I find another zero at 2.433. The only thing that I haven't found among the key points is the point symmetric to the y-intercept. To do that, I hit second 
trace. And this time I'm choosing one value as my choice. So I hit enter. And I'm going to plug in the x coordinate of the point that I'm looking for. I can find any point I want on the parabola this way. But in order to figure out which point is metric to the y-intercept, I have to use a bit of theory. I have to know that the x-coordinate of the mirror point will be double the x-coordinate of the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is 0 0.6, so the x-coordinate of the mirror point is going to be double that, 1.2. So I'm entering 1.2 as my value and hitting enter. And it tells me my y-coordinate, which is 3. Of course, knowing my y-intercept was at 0, 3, I know that the y-coordinate of the mirror point is also going to be 3, and I also know that I just have to double the x-coordinate of my vertex in order to get the x-coordinate of the mirror point. But this shows that you can find that point with the calculator as well, and you can find any other point you want. Let's find one more point. Second trace. I'm hitting enter for value again. This time I'm curious to know what is the y-coordinate when the x-coordinate is 5. So x equals 5, hit enter. And the y is negative 16. This is how we use the graphing calculator for quadratic equations.